Uh, the next presentation is a, a title is a definite experience of the BPF or CTEP and the possibility of a combination treatment. So this is my COI, okay? And uh, as I mentioned uh, the, in the previous uh, presentation, this slide shows the history of our BPF strategies. Uh, I will summarize, I review this uh, difference of the uh, strategies again. In the initial BP procedures, we limited the uh, uh, number of lesions and we uh, tried to use a bigger size of balloon. And the second strategy was uh, limiting the uh, balloon size and uh, uh, we treated uh, more, a little more lesion in each BP procedures. And uh, in the current BP strategy, so we direct the region sequentially in two BP procedures. Then the, uh, in the initial BP procedures, uh, direct the region with the smallest balloon and treat as many regions as possible. And in the following BP procedures, uh, optimize the lumen with a bigger size of balloon. So, and uh, uh, we have compared the outcome and the patient's uh, procedure characteristics and the occurrence of complication based on the difference in BPA strategies. So, of the 412 CTEC patients treated with a total of 2,335 procedures, we divided them into um, three periods based on the difference of BPA strategies. So this slide shows a patient baseline characteristics. So uh, baseline mean palmarite pressure and the PVL in the initial time uh, are higher, were higher than that in the latest time. So, and uh, this slide shows the procedural characteristics. So although the number over uh, BPA procedure per patient in each time was almost, um, almost same, uh, but uh, uh, the number of treated segments uh, per procedure was uh, uh, about two times uh, in the initial time compared with the latest time. And the number of treated lesion uh, per procedure and per patient in the initial time was only four and 23 uh, regions per patient. But in the latest time, so we treated uh, uh, nine uh, lesion per procedures and uh, in per patient, so uh, we treated the 45 lesions. So, and the, the amount of contrast medium and the radiation exposure time uh, reduced in the latest times in the uh, current BPU strategies. So, and this slide shows the incidence of complications among each time. So, although the incidence of vascular injury was not different, vascular injury is not different in each time, so, but the incidence of blood dysfunction and the rang injury is reduced in the latest time. And uh, besides, the incidence of rang injury needing uh, uh, the support of uh, NPPV or mechanical uh, ventilations or ECMO has uh, significantly eliminated in the latest time. So considering these results, current BPA strategies might be uh, reasonable to maximize the therapeutic efficacy while minimizing the risk of complications. So in order to improve hemodynamics as well as oxygenation in patients with a CTEF, the current BPA strategy aiming at total, uh, total revascularization may be effective. So the concept of uh, BPA uh, for total revascularization, uh, which means uh, uh, direct uh, all the lesions in each segment of pulmonary artery is similar to the concept of PEA, dissecting the organized numbers uh, as a whole. So if we treat all the regions by BPA, is it possible to uh, relieve the residual patient symptoms so here, so we would like to present a case in which uh, BPA treatment was completed and the average pulmonary artery pressure uh, improved to almost normal, but exceptional symptoms uh, remained. So uh, before BPA procedure, so I mean pulmonary artery pressure was 51 millimeter mercury and the oxygen saturation was 91% and the PBR was 10 would unit. After uh, four sessions of the BPA, 
So uh, mean palm water pressure decreased to 24 millimeter mercury and the oxygen saturation improved to uh, slightly improves. Uh, but this patient has a uh, uh, residual symptoms. So we checked uh, mm, how do pulmonary exercise test a CPAT. So uh, mean palm water pressure peak mean palm water pressure increased to 36 millimeter mercury and the uh, mean pop she also was uh, 3.9 so it's elevated so therefore so uh, we treated the uh, only one additional bpa procedures so in this bpa procedures we treated the many total uh, some um, total occlusion lesions and the subtotal occlusion lesions uh, please check the uh, pulmonary angiogram before BPA. So this is YA10. So the light A9 is totally occluded. Uh, therefore, so we close uh, uh, pass the lesion through the wire, uh, pass the wire through the regions and open the occluded vessels. This is the left ring segment. This is the light uh, middle lobe. So we treated uh, uh, four totally occluded lesion and the sub totally occluded lesion. And uh, after BPA, uh, segmental perfusion defects uh, on perfusion scintigram uh, corresponding to the treated region with BPA were improved, right lower light N9 and the uh, uh, light middle lobe and the left lingual segment. So along with uh, this, so cardiac index at rest improved and the pathogenic oxygen saturation also improved after BPA. Uh, in the uh, on the cardio pulmonary exercise test, so the um, duration of exercise time uh, slightly and lo uh, become longer, and the um, uh, the amount of exercise load increase 20, from twenty five watt and uh, to the forty three watt. So and the mean uh, peak uh, pulmonary artery pressure. Uh, the uh, slightly decrease from 36 to 33 millimeter mercury and the peak cardiac index slightly improves and the mean pop CO slope decreased. So the patient symptoms are uh, uh, dramatically uh, relieved. So considering these results, so even in patients with normal resting hemodynamics, treatment residual lesion may further improve the oxygenation and the exercise capacity. So is it essential to treat the four regions with BPA? So if so, so additional BPA procedure could further improve the hemodynamics or exercise capacity or oxygen oxygenation, even in CTF patients with lower the mean palm at the pressure after BPA. We investigated the efficacy of additional BPA in CTF patients so with mean pop uh, less than 30 millimeter mercury and oxygen saturation more than uh, less than uh, 95% uh, at six months of follow up after BPA. Among the 76 patients uh, uh, enrolled in this study, 33 patients uh, uh, underwent additional BPA procedures. So, and the 31 patients uh, didn't receive additional BPA procedures. Uh, this slide shows the procedural characteristic of the additional BPA procedures. So, and the uh, additional treatment were predominantly observed uh, in the left upper lobe and the ring segments. And this slide shows the therapeutic improvements after additional BPA procedures. So, the, in the non BPA group, almost all the parameters have not changed other than the percentage of the patients using pulmonary vasodilators. In the BPA, uh, additional BPA groups, so pulmonary oxygen saturation improved from 90% to 94%. And the PVR also decreased uh, in the additional BPA groups. And the uh, uh, and the uh, the percentage of the patients who discontinued the home oxygen therapy was significantly higher in the additional BPA groups. So considering these results, uh, additional BPA procedure could further improve the hemodynamics and the oxygenation uh, and the patient's exercise capacity. Therefore, treating all the regions might be reasonable for the relief of the patient's symptoms.
Uh, until now, I have been talking about the importance of total revascularizations with BPA. However, not all patients with CTF are completely cured only by BPA. From now on, so I would like to talk about the combination, importance of a combination treatment of PEA and BPA or BPA and medical treatment. Uh, the evidence of this combination treatment is lacking. So firstly, so I would like to talk about the candidate for BPA. So um, CTEF patients who are ineligible, ineligible for PEA and the patients with persistent or recurrent pulmonary hypertension after PEA is an established candidate for PEA. So these patients are considered the possible candidates for BPA. So number one, so rescue BPA as a uh, transitional or bridging treatment option in rapidly deteriorating CTEF patients for stabilization before PEA. And the second candidate so is a patient with a residual symptom due to remaining stenosis after BPA. Number three, so as a planned combination treatment of BPA combined with PEA for se uh, selected CTEF patients with surgically accessible and inaccessible lesions. So in patients uh, treated with PEA in our hospital, so combination treatment with PEA and BPA is common rather than monotherapy of BPA. So uh, the number of patients treated PEA in our hospital, in our hospital uh, is very small, only 12 patients. But uh, the, uh, this slide shows a change of hemodynamics in patients with CTEF after PEA in our hospitals. The red line indicates the five patients who underwent BPA before PPA and uh, a PEA and they received the PEA safely. And the uh, black line indicates the four patients who underwent BPA after PEA to treat the remaining lesions. The number of patients without the combination treatment was only two patients. Uh, the uh, most important thing is that some PEA surgeon usually says BPA pleura to B before PEA can increase the difficulty of subsequent PEA because the dissection plane can be distorted over obliterated by BPA. Therefore, multiple uh, multi-center prospective control studies are essential to elucidate the effectiveness of the combination treatment of BPA and PEA. So uh, as for the combination treatment of BPA and the medical therapy, so there were some reports demonstra demonstrating the efficacy of combination treatment. So targeted to medical therapy with Leo Shigwat or Priwa to BPA further improves the hemodynamics and the physical capacity compared with the Leo Shigwat alone and might reduce the risk of complication during the BPA by decreasing the mean pulmonary pressures. However, it remains unclear whether using Leo Shigwat before BPA could reduce the risk of complication during the BPA. And uh, regarding the medical therapy after BPA, little has been reported on the necessity of Leo Shigwat. So impaired exercise capacity was observed in patients with CTEF who had the exercise induced pulmonary hypertension even after normalizing the mean pulmonary pressure at rest after BPA. Combination treatment with BPA and the Leo Shigo water has been reported to have a beneficial effect on impaired exercise capacity for such patients. Uh, in this lip also, mean palmate, uh, mean pap CO slope was significantly decreased in the Leo Shigo art group. Uh, in contrast, this change is not observed in the control of groups. But uh, all these data were obtained from a single center study with a small number of patients. The combination of BPA and the Leo art is a potentially uh, good treatment uh, for further improvement of residual symptoms and the exercise, uh, in, to improve the exercise capacity, even after normalizing the hemodynamics after BPA. Uh, much, uh, but uh, to uh, demonstrate uh, the evidence of the combination treatment of the BPA and the medical therapy, so randomized control trial uh, should be considered. So uh, regarding the evidence on the medication of Leo Shigwat after BPA, we are now undergoing the multi-center randomized control trial 
to clarify whether improvement of the cardiac index during exercise maintains or not between the real sugar water continued group and the real sugar water discontinued group in CT patients with normalized mean permanent pressure after BPA. Uh, previously, uh, three separate treatment options, PEA and BPA and the medical therapy were exist for the treatment of a CT. However, uh, in the near future, to further improve the patient's hemodynamics and exercise capacity uh, for oxygen, uh, combination treatment would become the standard treatment in some part of the patients with a CT. Uh, this is our summary. Uh, all patients uh, deemed ineligible PEA are candidates for BPA. So, and the uh, exercise capacity and oxygenation uh, further improved by BPA, aiming for total revascularization like PEA. Uh, this is a grass uh, summary, combination treatment, PEA and BPA, or BPA and the medical therapy would be promising for further improvement of hemodynamics and exercise capacity. However, further in investigations are needed to clarify the effectiveness of combination treatment. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much. Really very, very instructive and very important for us. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shimo Kawahara. And uh, thank you for everything. We hope to see you soon in Bulgaria after COVID times uh, ends. Mm. So I guess uh, uh, we leave it uh, to your rest now because we are ending our session. If there is no more comments or questions. Maybe not. Uh, Everything clear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or nothing. <laughs> okay, once again, thank you so much. So thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.